Good day, everybody. How are we doing? Today, we are going to talk about sampling methods. So I'll share my screen with you. Name the sampling method that best describes each situation. Part A, George wants to know how the rest of the class did on the last quiz. He picks at the scores of a few students sitting right next to him. This is, of course, convenient sampling. Okay. So, next one. And just a minute. Let's get rid of this. Eureka High School has 400 freshmen, 300 sophomores, 300 juniors, and 200 seniors. The student newspaper conducts a poll asking, Here you go. So the first one we talked about is convenience sampling. Second one, Eureka High School has 400 freshmen, 300 sophomores, 300 juniors, and 200 seniors. The student newspaper conducts a poll asking the students if the football coach should be fired. The student newspaper selects randomly 20 freshmen, 15 sophomores, 15 juniors, and 10 seniors for the poll. This one is stratified sampling. The student newspaper is dividing the population of students into strata or groups, and then selecting a proportionately sized random sample from each stratum or group. In fact, 5% from each stratum. So this is stratified sampling. The student body is divided into strata or four groups. Part C, for the last football game of the season, the coach chooses the three captains by putting the names of all the players in a hat and drawing the three names. This is simple random sampling. Why? Because every subset of three players has the same chance of being selected as any other subset of three players. Part D, for the last football game of the season, the coach chooses the three captains by putting the names of all the seniors in a hat and drawing three names. This is quota sampling. Why? Because the coach is attempting to force the sample to fit a particular profile. Here, only the seniors. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please uh, subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I come back every week with new problem, new solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.